the regular season, but tonight Laker Nation is celebrating a return to the postseason. Eyewitness News reporter John Hartung is live at Staples Center with happy fans. John. That's right, Michelle. And the Lakers had actually clinched a spot in the playoffs before tonight's game even started by virtue of Utah losing at Memphis. But the Lakers wanted to grab that seventh seed in the West by beating the Houston Rockets tonight. And what an incredible game it was. Without Kobe Bryant, once again, the Lakers get it done in overtime. Kobe! 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 That was a great game. These guys showed, these guys showed they can play even without Kobe. Hart. We're going to be a force in the playoffs. We're coming for you, San Antonio. We're coming. Great way to end the season, right? Let's make Kobe proud. If Nash comes back, we got a chance. Because Dwight Powell. I call him baby. Cup Powell. That's what I call him. Cup Powell. San Antonio. And then OKC. Okay, and then the ring. We can do it. Kobe's spirit lives every day. As you heard some of those fans there say, the Lakers will open the playoffs against the San Antonio Spurs. Game one will be Sunday in San Antonio. Games three and four back here at Staples Center. Tickets go on sale for those games Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Rob Fugazaki will have all of your highlights coming up later in sports. Live at Staples Center, John Hartig, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. John, thank you.